I have a right triangle right here. Oh, wait a minute. Then, oh, you can see two more here, right? Oh, that's right. The small size one and medium size and big one. Okay, now, uh, what about angle wise? Oh, we check it out, okay? Then angle for this one. So I'm going to call this one maybe O right there. What about this one? Oh, I'm going to call this one X. Okay, X plus O. That's right. That's 90 degrees, right? Oh, that's right. Then this one is 90 degrees like right there. Like then 90, 90, total 180. That's right. Okay, what about this one? Oh, the small triangle. Okay, wait a minute. You can see this whole thing is a 90. That's why O plus this one right here uh, must be 92. That means, oh, wait a minute. Then, uh, obviously, you can see this one also O because this one plus this one, that's right, 90, right there, 90 degrees. That means, oh, that's right, three angles are equal. Okay, that means we call AAA. Oh, that means what? That's right, similar, right? All the triangles, similar. Then, hey, we can make a ratio. That's right. Okay, let's go. On this one, okay, you have to recognize which is the shortest side and medium size and the longest side. On this one, look at this medium size triangle right here, okay? Then, oh, which one's the medium one on this one? That's right. Or oh, X, that's the medium size. Then, this one is the shortest one, right? So we know these two right here, X and 4. That's it. Then you can make a ratio, just like this one. X to 4 equals, oh, now small one, okay? Small one right there, okay? Small triangle. Then, which one is the medium size? That's right, 4, right? Okay, 4. What is the shortest one? That's it, 2. Oh, 4, 2, 2. That's it. Now, you can cross multiplication, right? Oh, that's it. Now, hey, anyway, you can reduce this one and this one, right? Oh, that's right. This one's a 2, this one's 1. Now, cross multiplication. Oh, x times 1 is x, right? Oh, x is 2 times 4, which is 8. Oh, 8 inches. That's it. Okay, I have two numbers right here, 2 and 8, okay? Then, oh, let me ask you this one. What is the mean of these two numbers? Mean, which is M-E-A-N. Oh, that means first thing comes to your mind. That's right. The average. Right? But, okay, we have to be careful. What kind of mean? They have two different types of mean. Okay, actually mainly. Okay, they have few. But, okay, mainly two. One is arithmetic mean. Arithmetic, which is, okay, start with A. Arithmetic. Uh-huh. That's what average is. Okay, arithmetic mean is the average. Okay, that means how you do it? That's right. Okay, 2 plus 8 and divide by 2, right? Oh, which is a 5. That's right. So, what, the other one, oh, opposite of arithmetic? That's right. Geometric. Oh, geometric mean. Oh, that's a different story. In this case, you just multiply 2 times 8. Then, you just put square root. That's it. See the difference? So, I can write this one. Oh, just like this one. So, AM, uh, which is arithmetic mean, okay, so equals, okay, 2 plus 8, then divide by 2. Okay, just, uh, I, you know, repeating, okay? So now, what about GM? That's right. Geometric mean equals, you just multiply, okay, 2 times 8, then square root sign. Oh, which is 16. Square root of 16 is 4, right? Oh, that's it. Okay, 4, right there. That means you can remember this one, okay? We have a right triangle, just like this one. Then we have a segment right in the middle. Okay, then this one equals, this is GM, okay, of these two numbers right there. See? Okay, that means 2 and 8, okay, 2 times 8, which is 16. This is a geometric mean, okay, so actually 4 because square root of 16. Okay, this time I'm going to label this one A. How about that? Then can you get it? That's right. So B, uh -huh. now uh, all segments are labeled. Okay, now uh, small triangle, look at small triangle, okay, 2 and 4. Oh, that means A, oh, that's right. So A equals what? You can use Pythagorean theorem, right? So A equals square root, then 2 squared plus 4 squared, 
which is square root of 20. Okay. 20. So answer is what? That's right. 2 square root of 5. You can do that. Okay. Or you can use the calculator, then you can find out the perfect answer right there. Okay. Or now you angle. Okay. Oh, which one is the shortest one? That's right. This one, right? Short to medium. Uh-huh. We can do backward. Okay. Medium to short. And then means okay from this uh from this small triangle right here, uh, we can get, that's right, the short to long. What about medium-sized triangle right here? Oh, uh, medium-sized triangle, which one is a short one right here? Oh, that's it. This one is a short and medium. I'm going to call it B, right? Okay, so B right there, that's. Uh, now, uh, we can find the B uh, by the ratio, okay? So now. Oh, look at this uh, medium-sized triangle right here. Oh, this one, B, is the longest one, right? Which one is this? What is this one? Four. Oh, that's right. That's the shortest one. So, long to short. Oh, that's right. I can make a ratio just like this one. Long to short equals. What about small triangle, long to short? Okay, that's it. 22 square root of 5 over 2. That's it. Now, in this case, so you can reduce this one, just like this one. That means this is 1. Now, P times 1 is P equals, hey, you just multiply this one. So, 4 squared of 5. That's it. Inches. Yes, you can use a Pythagorean theorem. Okay, especially this is a small triangle. So, if you know 2, then you can get the other one anyway, right? But I'm showing you how to use this ratio technique. You must know. Okay, this time uh, we try this one. Okay, so uh, we're going to talk about this medium sized triangle. Okay, the medium size is x, right? Or x2. What about the longest one? That's right, right here. 4 square root 5. Oh, that's it. Equals medium long. Okay, so now what about the short one? Which one is the medium? 4. Mm -hmm. the, uh, which one is the long one? 2 square root of 5. That's it. 2 square root of 5, right there, right? That's the longest one from this small triangle. Then, hey, that's it. Now, you can reduce this way, but this time, I'm going to show you how to reduce this way. See, you can reduce this way. Oh, man. Square root 5, square root 5. What about 4 and 1? Oh, uh, this one will be 1. Anyway, 4 is going to be 2, right? Then, cross multiplication. That's it. So, x is 2 times 4, which is 8. Oh, that's it. This is going to be 8. Oh, you remember this was 8. Okay, let's make a ratio right here. Conclusion. Okay, now, uh, yeah, we can do that. Okay, short medium. So that's what I'm going to use. Okay, short to medium. That means, oh, this one to this from the small triangle. Okay, short to medium. Uh-huh. What about the medium size? Short to medium. Short to medium. Oh, 4 to x. That's it. Okay. What about the big triangle? Okay, short to medium. Oh, which one is the short one? A. That's right. So, A to B. Okay, that's it. This time, let's try, oh, maybe medium to long. See, medium to long. Okay, you can do whatever you want. Okay. Uh, from this small triangle, medium to long. Medium is 4. The long is A, right? Okay, 4 to A. That's it. What about the medium size? Okay, so medium to long. Oh, which is a medium? That's right. X to B, right? Oh, that's it. X to B. Now, what about big triangle? Medium to long. That means medium B. Oh, that's it. Medium to long one. Oh, so which is 2 plus X, right? Which is X plus 2, whatever. Maybe you could say X plus 2. Also, you know this one is 8, so total 10, actually. You know what this one is? Oh, that's right. So, five star important. That's right. Very important. Five star right here. That's right. A job.